Hey y'all, Fox Cooper, livingcooper.com. Look what Fox got. Check it out y'all, I got a 1980 Vespa P200E that I'm rebuilding, kind of inherited. Welcome back to the Vespa Rebuild series. And this series, I'm basically taking you step by step as to how I'm putting this thing back together. I basically got it as a bare frame and we're putting it together. This is episode 12. Check out the other episodes if you haven't seen them. I'm gonna start from the bare frame to where I am now. But in this episode, Episodio Dodici, or episode 12, I'm going to show you how to prep and install the cowls. Y'all come on in here and let's get to it. Let's get moving, uh, putting together one of these fenders. I'll show you how to do one of them and then I'll do the other one on my own. So we're going to do this fender or cowl, I guess if you will. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in the turn signal and then we're going to be putting this little rubber grommet on this peg here. We're going to clean this peg up. That peg right there is where the contact for the turn signal goes. So it'll drop through this peg and then it will run underneath here all the way back to the turn signal back there. And then we will put on the cowl, I guess, trim molding that, that'll go around here. So I'm gonna, first I'm going to take a little sandpaper and I'm going to kind of clean up around these little pegs a little bit. And I'm cleaning up around these pegs because on this end, they have to sit inside of a little tube and that little tube only so big. So we got to clean that up some so that it will go in there, slide in and out, and make contact. Okay, let's put on our little rubber piece on this end. Okay, so we kind of get this almost all the way on. It got a little flare on the end of this peg and the rubber should be actually down below that. I'm going to put a little lube on it, a little silicone lube on it, and see if I can get it down a little farther. So I think I got it on as best I can. It's uh, not down below that flare. I might have to cut some off. That may be a little bit too long. I don't know. Whenever I try to fit this on the bike, if it'll go in, I won't worry about it. If it won't go in, then I'll probably have to trim that off a little bit. Alright, so that's that piece. Let's uh, see if we can drop in our contact for the turn signal. And here's the contact for the turn signal right there. That's the little contact piece and the little connector drops in through the hole this way. And I might have to put the dribble on that because they got some paint in this thing. So I'm going to have to bring that out. So I got a little dribble bit that'll fit in there to kind of bring that out. All right, so I got the dribble hooked up. So we just kind of want to make sure we kind of slow this down. We don't need to go too fast. Kind of clean this out just a little bit. All right, there we go. We got the little contact in. And now, inside here, I don't know how well you guys can see, but there's these little metal tabs underneath here that this wire is going to follow along underneath those tabs all the way back to where the turn signals are or where the turn signal is. Not a really good way to show this to you but it, it's right under there. I'll, I'll try to show you a little better. Let me put this in. All right so we drop the wire in with the contact. The contact and the wire come through the little peg and here it is running right down here behind all these little tabs and then you bend all these tabs over to kind of hold it in place. And then this wire runs through here, goes behind this spring retainer and it runs over here to where it will plug into the turn signal once we get the turn signal in. And of course you can see the little rubber piece that we put on there. So that's that. All right, now let's move on to the next step. The next thing I'm going to do while I got the Dremel out is this little tab right here. There's a brass contact in there and that's where the ground is made for the cowl. That's basically the return for the turn signal. So the hot wire comes through this contact, goes to the turn signal, and then back through the cowl. That's your ground return. So this was painted over, so I've got to clean that off and I'm going to use my Dremel to do that. Well, this is interesting because there's supposed to be a like a brass contact piece right in here and apparently something happened and this one does not have it so i'm not sure what i'm going to do about that hopefully just the bare steel will be enough to make that contact that i need i'm not sure how i'm going to address that we'll see when i put it together if it works if not then i'll have to figure something out okay so that's one one thing we want to do right there we have the dremel out and the other piece is inside here, this hole right here, screw hole right here, where the turn signal bolts in, that makes the contact 
for the ground of the turn signal. So we need to clean that off so that we get good metal to metal contact as well. Okay, hopefully that'll give me some good metal to metal contact uh, there. So we've got that cleaned up because there's a spider washer on the bolt that holds that, or the nut that holds that turn signal in. Okay, so that's it for the Dremel. Now we're going to put on this cowl seal. So this side smashes up against the body of the bike. This piece goes around the cowl. But the Vespa Motorsport guys that I always refer back to, they cut a slice in this so that it will go over this peg. So it'll run from here all the way around this top edge all the way around the bottom. On the bottom right here is a hole that we're going to drill a hole in our rubber seal and pop a rivet in there. They do that so that it will help it stay on once you get it all together. All right, so let's see if we can if we can figure this out. I think I'm going to do mine a little different than they did theirs. I think I'm just going to cut a little notch out. I know they cut a, they cut a slit in theirs, but I think I'm just going to cut a little notch out of there. And we'll kind of measure this where it's going to go. It's going to go to right here, it's going to go to there. Alright, so I got a little notch cut. Now let's see if we can get this around here. I might have to trim it just a little more. Alright, cut off this little tail right here. There we go, there's the cowl gasket. I'm just going to put on the turn signal. So here's the turn signal. It goes on this side. Now, if you look on here, I did not replace these foam gaskets in the back of this and this little hole is on the bottom so it's not like water's going to get in there. Alright, so this goes in here like so. Put the lens on in a minute. I had to buy a couple of bolts and spider washers for this. So this is an M4. You know, it's about half an inch. And it's an M4. So I'm just going to put this one in, kind of help hold it in place. Okay, so that's, that's kind of in. Let's flip it over and see if I can show you guys where it connects. Alright, so here it is right here. So it's in. Put our nut on. And we're not going to wrench it down yet because if you see how this has play in it, so that we can suck it up this direction first. So we want to put our nut and spider washer back on this side where it comes in underneath there. Okay, I got a socket for this, and that's a seven millimeter socket. That's a quarter inch drive uh, ratchet with an extension so that I can get in here and tighten this up. All right, there's that one. Now we'll come back and tighten this one up. Just like that. And now we'll plug in our lamp, the male side and the female side of the connector. Just like that. And we'll put our sheathing back over that, kind of give a little protection. There we go. So now that's over, and then what I'll do is I'll get a little tie wrap and tie wrap this up in here. Just like that. Okay, there you go. And I got the bulb in there, and I got an LED replacement bulb. Now let's see if we can put this lens cover on. And the lens cover gasket, of course, was pretty bad. So, so we got replacements for this. We'll just see if we can get these in. Actually, I think I got it the wrong way. I think it goes this direction. We'll put the lens on, like that. And they got these two screws that hold the lens on. Okay, y'all. So I got this cowl done. Turn signal in. Gasket on. Looks pretty good. Electrical connected inside. A little peg there. Got this little peg rubber on. Unfortunately, this one goes on the other side. I should have chose the other one to do first, but nonetheless, it is what it is. I think it looks pretty good. Obviously, it needs to be washed and cleaned up still, but there you go. That's how to do the, I guess that's how to prep the cowl. So I'm going to move on. I'm going to do the next one, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, y'all. Let me show you how to put one of these cowls on. So in this little, I don't know what they call this clip. This is where the cowl hangs on. If you look at the underside of the cowl, it's got this little spring piece right here, and that hangs on to that. That piece right there. So on the top of this little piece, there's a little rubber bumper that goes on there. So we're going to put that little rubber bumper on. I'm going to use a little bit of silicone to kind of help, hopefully help it go through the hole there. And then I'm also going to use a little screwdriver. There we go. We got a lot of little bumpers on. All right. I already put this on and then about tore this little rubber piece up that goes around this peg. I had to bend this a little bit. And this thing is kind of tight to get in there. So anyways, you slip this into the back like so. And it takes some 
some force to kind of get this down on there. I'm going to get that in and then kind of hopefully if it will work. Okay. And then once that's on, then you got to push this baby down and get the peg in the bottom. And, uh, you know, the best of motorsport guys, they make this thing look easy. And I don't know. Maybe this thing just isn't right, but it is what it is. I got what I got, so we're going to work with it. All right, so now you get it down and on, and you got to pull this peg out. Uh, flip it over there to hold that thing. And if you look right here, that little grommet came out. And the Vespa Motorsport guy said, yep, that happens with these newer grommets. They'll, they'll pop out like that. They'll want to stay connected to the, to the stem of this thing. And not stay in. They said basically it is what it is. I just wonder if I put a little sauce on it. That would help it slide a little bit maybe. Well, I'm going to have to do some work I guess. That's the way it's supposed to go on. Now you can see this doesn't really sit in there. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut some of this little tab off. This is an aftermarket cow and I think they made this tab too long because the peg was way too long. The peg in the back so uh, this tab, I think I might have to trim that down so this thing can come back this way because right now it's forced that way. And then this is an aftermarket cowl and the peg was way long compared to the other side. So I'm just going to have to work with it and see what I can do. Obviously I'm going to clean this bad boy back up. There you go. That's uh, That cowl's installed. Both the cowls are set up. Obviously I'm not going to install the other cowl right now. Let's move on. Okay y'all, there you go. Episodio no Dici in the books. I showed you guys how to prep and install the cowls. This is the turn signal, the cowl molding, how to put that on, how to install the cowl. So that's Episodio Dodici. Keep an eye out for Episodio Tredici. In that episode, hopefully, we're going to put the speedometer and the ignition and the lights in the headset. That's the plan for Episodio Tredici. So keep an eye out for Episode 13. Hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, well, you can give me a thumbs down too. Either way, I understand not every video is for every viewer. That's okay. By the way, leave me some comments. Good comments, bad comments, and different comments. Not foul comments. This is trying to try to maintain a family dynamic here. So, constructive criticisms, things I could do better to make the videos better for you guys. Experiences that you've had rebuilding Vespas that can help other people that might be doing the same thing. All those comments will be greatly appreciated. Check us out on our social media, at Living Cooper, on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and now Parlor. Also, check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. And lastly, probably most importantly, is please subscribe. We appreciate all the subscriptions. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. And check out our other videos. we got all kinds of videos from product reviews to how-tos to travel. Check those out, and we'll see you guys next time. Ciao.